Mentoring system is a fairly recent addition to the game which hasn't had much content made on it at all, very little guide content, so I thought I'd do a video uh, highlighting some of the details of perhaps why you might want to give more attention to this event than you previously have been, because whilst it was originally, I believe, intended as a means to help new players get into the game, you can just use it quite selfishly uh, for your main account to... Uh, min-max your stats and your photo album and stuff like that just with a simple auto count without having to help anyone except yourself. There are three things primarily uh, your main account can source from this uh, part of the game without too much effort, at least two of them. You will be able to get Blood of the King photo shards which give pretty decent spear reductions actually and Dance of Crows photo shards as well which is good. Bow reductions, of course, you're going to have to finish these eventually if you want to finish off this third album, which you'll need to do if you want to get to the sixth collection bonus of it to unlock the, the spear attack reduction, as well as eventually the tenth collection part of it to unlock these high tiers of spear reductions all around. The other thing you can get from it is actually 100% uptime on a SS castle skin. This particularly is something I think people who haven't properly delved into this may not realize how easy this is to actually do when you get the system rolling a bit. Even if you don't use this, say you're like a mono imp player and the, the cav attack is useless to you, I mean the, the stats themselves are actually pretty decent, but the collection bonuses alone, if you just keep these active, it's like permanently having a fairly decent troop appearance active, which is never a bad thing. But those are the reasons you may want to start giving this part of the game a bit more attention. So to access this system, if you just go to the social tab, so if you click chat or any other way to access this screen, you'll see this bottom down here, Mentor Apprentice. You then click that and this will be the, the mentorship system right here. So you see here I have two of my alts added. Now there'll be three primary ways of adding players as apprentices. One, which is how I added these, You'll just add them as a friend. So you add your own account. Here, this is my alt. So I just added myself effectively. Then you find them in your friends list. You click on like this little tab here. And then there'll be apprentice guidance. You'll be able to click that. You'll be able to add your new alt very easily through that. The second way of doing it is if we go back to that. From your main account, you just copy this code, and then if you go to your baby account, you go to this tab yourself, you'll then have to tab across one, go to this, and then I'm already receiving guidance from myself, so I, I don't have access to this, but it'll be similar to like pasting in your return to Westeros code. Just click that, uh, copy it in with control V or whatever, and then you'll be able to follow yourself through that. And then the final method will be this hall of guidance tab up here, so this will be available for both. So this is the apprentice side. You'll be able to have mentors post themselves, which you can then follow. Alternatively, if you go to your main account, you can go to the apprentice bulletin board. And if there are any apprentices up there, you can then guide them through that. You can choose to try and get an actual new player through this, and they'll maybe do their account maintenance and increase their score, which will be of importance when unlocking the photo shots. And perhaps that'll be more low effort for you, but you'll have less control over, of course, what happens with their account. And potentially, it'll be harder to get the weekly quest done and whatnot to get these mental medals to be able to buy out this shop. If your apprentice, for whatever reason, uh, doesn't know what they're doing or can't be helped to end up knowing what they're doing. So the main reason I do this is for this castle skin, because you can keep a 100% uptime up for it. You'll be very easily able to sustain this amount of mental medals purely through the, this training camp system. So I can probably just show that right now. Just do it like this. And then I go on my apprentice account. It will show up like this. You join the rally. It will then instantly hit. And now I would have gained quest progress. These reset every week. Just claim them. And then you keep farming up the medals until you can buy this every single week. 
And the reason I say it can have 100% uptime is both two reasons. One, the store refreshes every seven days, as well as it having a limit of one that refreshes every seven days. So you can just buy it once a week. And the amount of mentor medals you can get every week through these quests will vastly surpass the 1,000 anyway. But you can also, and this is a mechanic I think some people don't actually realize, you can use the coupons for it beyond seven days. So they actually stack. So if you see her, I don't have it active right now. If I pop one there, it's now active. Uh, tab back to it here. So it'll show as seven days here. Then if you click redeem again, pop another one, exchanging it. Again, will extend its expiration timer. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And now it will be uh, 14 days instead. So I could just keep stacking this up. So you don't have to remember to keep popping it, like setting alarms if you really want to be obsessive about it, just keep it on going forever. But as you saw with how I was running those rallies, it is very, very low effort, and you can very, very easily just continue to do this uh, every week. I mean, you can do it like once every three, four weeks and just have enough uh, of the mentor medals to just continuously do this or buy out the shop over and over again for several weeks without having to touch it for quite a while so once you do get the ball rolling it will end up being very low effort like here i've already gone from what, 300 to over 2000 mentor medals and it's been what like six clicks or something it's very very low effort so if you're not already you can very easily keep this castle skin up forever these photo shards atop the wall and end of the road are also in here. I believe they were accessible through other means previously, so I already have the max, but if you still need progress on these, this is how you'll be able to get them. The other part of this event, which will be useful to your main account or relevant to your main account, will be the photo shards. So these will come from effectively milestone rewards in this guidance quest tab. So there will be three tiers you'll have to reach for the first set of photo shards. Apprentice level 1, Apprentice level 2, and Apprentice level 3. Each of them will give 4 of the Blood of the King photo shards. And then you'll get 12 Dance of the Crows photo chests when reaching Mentor status here. So it doesn't show from this side what these actually mean. You will have to look at this, I believe, from the Apprentice side to be able to actually know how to or what you need to do to get to these breakpoints. Once you reach one of the milestones though, it will then update to the next milestone and you won't be able to see the previous requirements. So I'll just go over them now. So I tab back to my main account just to show this. So apprentice level one is 5,000 personal score and castle level 17. Apprentice level two is 7,000 personal score and castle level 20. We can see apprentice level three here which is a personal score of 10,000 and castle level 22. And then finally, the mentor status will be castle level 25 and personal score of 40,000. So it's a big jump there. So these first three chests are much easier to obtain than the, the mentor chests, which means those first photo shards, unless you're prepared to put in significant amounts of effort, will be the, the more realistic thing to obtain short term. If there are newer players watching this and wondering what personal score even means because it is a bit of a hidden mechanic actually um i have had some people dm me about this also and ask this question so if you want to see your personal score it's it shows it obviously in uh the progress here where it says you're at 7055 but the way you'll see it at any time and see what contributes to it click on your power up here in the top left then here where it says total score hover that and this will be your personal score and also if you scroll this across you'll see all the sources of your personal score so you see here primarily my score is coming from city and all from buildings so the, the, the best way to get to 10k at least would just be rushing to castle 25 that will give it fairly naturally you don't have to spend any bd or anything like that uh, my best advice would realistically just play the game, build your account up like you did at first when you first started playing the game, realistically. Just follow the tooltips if you're a new player. Keep putting all your speed ups and diamonds into keep keeping progressing your, your castle because it forces you to upgrade other things on the way anyway. When you're at castle 25, you should have the 10k score fairly naturally. 
getting it to 40k for that second set of photo shards will be a lot harder and you will have to put a lot more effort in to do that long term. But basic things like hitting rebel leaders to improve your gear, blitzing Expedition Beyond for refinement, doing rebel leaders to improve your commanders, exploring of your dragon to get some blessing stones for the dragon awakening system, very basic things like that will be what eventually chip away increasing your score. And I will warn you in advance, if you want to get that 40k score, that will take you realistically months and months of work, I believe. So don't expect it to be a quick fix and know what you're getting into, if that is a goal of yours. But for very low amounts of effort, the castle skin and this first set of photo shards will be very easy to get. And also, long term, if you do want to min-max your account, you are going to need to get those Dance of Crows photo shards to be able to uh, complete this album because that you're going to be losing a lot of stats here if you miss out on this 20% spear health and defense reductions so you're not going to be able to put this off forever unless you do some shady stuff and people do it for you and just trade you the skills for, for other stuff I guess which I'm sure max accounts have the systems and whatnot in place to be able to to manage that but normal people like us though uh, maybe not so much. I may well do a video in future of more specifics on the mentoring system, but I thought this could be just quite a nice little video to, to bring attention to some of the things you might not have thought about in regards to the system already.